Hello dear friends, welcome to a new video. Today's production is focused on the Cold War, particularly the Photosniper photographic kit, a very sought after collectible from that era. This photographic kit consists of a Zenith film camera, a standard lens, a Tair 300mm f4.5 aperture telephoto lens, some filters and of course a gun-like stock to aid with image stabilization. Now that we've deployed our photo sniper, let's talk a bit about its history. So, while initially the photo sniper kits were intended for the Soviet military, the example we're using today, the photo sniper 12, was something that was sold uh, to civilian photographers, wildlife shooters, bird watchers, and so on. Initially, the photo sniper had a Zenit E with an external light meter, but later it was used with a Zenit TTL light meter, much more suitable for telephoto operation. Regarding the origins of the sniper, well, gun-like cameras have been around since World War I. Later, during the 30s and the 40s, Leica cameras have been converted to gun stock cameras, and during 1945, for military use, Fed 2 cameras were converted to something looking like the photo sniper. It is believed that Nikita Khrushchev was a fan of the original military photo sniper, and at his suggestion, the current civilian version of it was developed by the Russian Zenit camera factory. Because the Tair 300mm is a M42 mount lens, some of the images you are about to see, the ones taken through the lens, are done with a Canon EOS DSLR camera via an adapter. That was great, let's check the operation of the camera. First is the film winding lever, this is the shutter speed selector. Next we have a diaphragm aperture ring. Near it we have a preset aperture actuator. To the front of the gun stock we have the focusing knob. This is how you focus, you extend the front elements of the lens. Regarding the aperture preset, imagine you need to use a closed aperture, but you still want a bright image in the viewfinder. You select the aperture, you activate the aperture preset button, and you are able to compose the image through the viewfinder. The moment you take the shot and activate the shutter through the trigger, the aperture closes to the desired value. Let's put the magnification of the telephoto lens into context.
Now that we played a little with the photo sniper, let's take a look at what other accessories come in the kit. First of all, there is the box, which is a very sturdy Soviet type box with latches. Opening it reveals mounting points for the system and accessories on the lid. So we have colored filters, a standard 58mm lens, screwdrivers and film canister holders. The kit was supposed to have a rubber sunshade for the telephoto, but unfortunately it is missing. That's about the only thing missing from this kit as far as I'm aware. Another thing that this kit contains that I did not take with me on the field is a pair of sturdy leather straps that allows you to carry the box in your back like a backpack. I somehow have the feeling that these straps were easily lost and nobody wore them like that. Plus the straps are thin and not very comfortable. They look to me more like an afterthought. So this is the photo sniper, a very cool gadget from a bygone era. Fortunately, because the lens is an M42 mount, this kit can be easily adapted to digital. In a future video I'll be showing you how to do that. Until then, thank you for watching and I wish you all the best. Goodbye.